across the world, some, it's so different and everyone's mobility is different and Ford is really trying to cater to everyone. And as they're expanding into an auto and mobility company, they're really trying to reach those congested areas, reach the individuals who are not driving every day, who are taking the train. I bike to work a lot, so I provide a lot of solutions on how I could help bikers. But I think that the fact that I don't have a license has helped Ford a lot. Um, because of the perspective I bring to ideas. Meet Victoria Shine, 23 years old and has 15 patents and counting for the company. We caught up with her in the Ford Hub in the Oculus Tower in downtown Manhattan. And how cool is this? Those are 5,000 miniature models of Ford cars behind us. Tell me one of, them, one of the patents you have. One of the patents I have is a U-turn assist device and basically it provides you with knowledge about your vehicle characteristics and your route. And so if your route is telling you to go a certain way or it predicts that you're going to have to make a U-turn, um, it will take your vehicle characteristics, calculate a turning radius for that, and then it knows the GPS area location and it, it will compare that data and then provide you with feedback whether or not you're going to make that turn or not. So basically, it, you could be driving and say, I'm going to make a U-turn now or you're, you're rerouting somewhere and it tells you to make a U-turn. This system and this mobile app will actually tell you, you might not be able to make that turn. You might want to route somewhere else. It might prevent accidents. It might be able to do a lot of things that'll help drivers. And your name is on the patent. So like, that's in the history books now. Yeah. Do, do, can you wrap your head around that? That's amazing. You're pretty amazing. Making history, one patent at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, there are not enough Victorias out there, which is why Ford Motor Company is actively recruiting female engineers. And they're hard to come by still. Only about 15% of all the engineers out there in corporate America are women. And that number really hasn't changed much over the last 10 years. I learned that it's okay to be the only female. I just have to really prove myself and prove that I can do this. Because we need more girls. You and I both know we need more girls in the STEM program. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? I would say, one, ask a lot of questions and don't be afraid to ask questions, even if you think that they're not good questions. I would also advise to really find a good mentor, whether that be in your life or at school. Um, find someone who's who really supports your endeavors and um, also get involved. There's a lot of programs currently out there. Ford is working on a lot of STEM and STEAM programs um, and really inspiring that growth in education. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And Ford is highly involved, helping to integrate art and design throughout our education system, which could only help drive future innovation. I'm currently working to help with Girls Who Code, which is a really cool organization and project that they're working on to help young girls understand that it's, it's not bad to be a female coding. It, it's, it's cool you can as heck. Yeah.